present an experiment on life. I'm Mia Nasir from Class Plus One Science. I'm Khadija Sara, Class Plus One Science. Do you know what is life? Yes, life is a type of electromagnetic radiation that allows the human eye to see or make the object visible. It is also defined as visible radiation to the human eye. Photons, which are tiny packets of energy, are found in light. This light travels in a straight line. The light travels at a faster rate than of sound. The speed of light is 380 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Light is a transverse wave that travels without the use of medium. That is, it can also move through a wave. Now, let's go to the properties of light. Properties of light. Effects of materials on light. Reflection, refraction, dispersion, diffraction. Scattering of light, polarization, total internal reflection, and interference. Now, let's move on to the experiment. The materials required for the experiment are source of light, glass container with water, beaker with water, plate mirrors, white screen, and a pencil. Now, let's perform the experiment on reflection of light. When the light ray incident on the surface of plane mirror, it is called the incident ray. Now we can observe that a light ray on the screen, it is called the reflected ray. From this, we can conclude that when a ray of light approaches on a smooth surface and bounces back, it is called the reflection of light. Now, let's perform an experiment on refraction of light. Do you know what is refraction? The phenomenon of change in the direction of light when it passes from one transparent medium to another. It is called refraction. Now, let's perform it. Place a pencil partially immersed in the water at an angle. Now, let's observe from the side that the pencil break or rent at the surface of water. This is due to refraction. We can conclude that light has various properties including reflection, refraction and dispersion. These properties helps us to understand how light behaves and interact with different materials. Take two mirrors together so they can be open and close like a hinge. Place the object in the middle of the mirrors. Now look at the reflection. We can see an ever increasing number of objects as we move the mirrors closely together. Whenever we can see a whole number of images reflected, the angle of the mirrors will perfectly divide it into 360 degrees. From these experiments, we can conclude that light has various properties including reflection, refraction and dispersion. These properties help us to understand how light behaves and interacts with different materials.